So, I can have a whole meal cooked for 12 p.m. Who am I? Am I your grandma? Who does that anymore? You know, you feel me? Niggas missing out, because what girl you know cooking you Sunday dinner before 12 p.m.? Yeah. Sit down. and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video you guys this is gonna be my first video ever in my kitchen so this is gonna be the first sunday that i spend in my house y'all i finally moved into my house so i wanted to cook sunday dinner i'm gonna cook for my family and my friends so on the menu we're going to have stew beef rice green beans macaroni and cheese um cornbread or biscuits snap oh and brownies so yeah that is on the menu hold on let me go see what Logan. okay hold on so yeah Logan wants to come say hi say hi <laughs> so yeah like i say y'all gonna be cooking sunday dinner <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead uh -uh, lay uh -uh. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the stew beef because technically it's Saturday. This is going to be like a Sunday vlog, but technically it's Saturday because I want to get started on the stew beef and let that get cooking overnight because I plan for us to be, <laughs> for us to eat around 3 or 4 o'clock tomorrow. So, stop it, Logan. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to put him down and start on the stew beef. Okay, so this is everything that I have that is going to be used to make Sunday dinner. So, of course, we have the stew beef, we have the rice. Um, I like to use a beef stew um, package, do how you wanna do whatever. Don't judge me for the macaroni and cheese, but yes, I'm using back box macaroni and cheese, but we're gonna bake it and get it right, so whatever extra cheese for the macaroni and cheese milk for the macaroni and cheese um we're going to be using brownie mix yeah, I have that. um i'm supposed to be using beef broth but i forgot so all i have is chicken so i'm gonna use part chicken whatever i don't have the rest of the chicken i will use water jiffy cornbread and like i said because how many people got a pin uh, how many people that i'm going to be feeding i'm also going to offer these red lobster biscuits. Um, eggs, green beans, and I think that's, I feel like that is everything. And of course seasoning and stuff like that. And then also vegetable oil. So this is everything that I'll be using to cook. And like I said, the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the stew beef. So the things that I used to season the beef was the Kinder's, the blend, um, Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning, Kinder's, the steak blend. I also used onion powder and garlic powder, of course. Pack of beef stew mixed, and I got the meat in the, this bowl right here, and I just decided that I'm gonna put all the seasonings on the meat before I put it into the crock pot. I really wished that I would have done the seasoning and all that good stuff inside the crock pot but no y'all really during this whole cooking process my mind just was doing crazy stuff y'all gonna see during the video like my i think it's called like your intrusive thoughts they was just coming to the front but anyway so after i put it um all the seasonings on the meat i just stirred it try to get everything to coat evenly and just you know just make sure that every piece of meat had all the seasoning on it and all the seasoning was just well dispersed so this is what it looked like once i got done mixing everything and then i just poured it into the crock pot and then after i got it in there i took the chicken broth which i honestly don't remember if i even had enough i think i had enough except for like the teeniest bit and then i put water for the rest of it and i was trying to you know get the seasonings off the side i should have used a spatula instead of a whisk but whatever so then i added that to the beef as well put the lid on it and i let this go 
for eight i put it for eight hours but of course this was overnight so it did cook a little longer than eight hours but yeah good morning guys it is sunday so beef stew has been cooking all night it's 10 24 in the morning i'm logan i'm not going to lie so i tasted a piece of the beef stew it's a little overcooked because you know i had a late start this morning but whatever so i did cut the crock pot off and when i come back to thicken up the gravy that the beef stew kind of created or whatever i heat it back up when it's time to eat right now i think i'm gonna get started on the macaroni and cheese so let's do that so here i'm just pouring the measured water into the pot yes y'all i am one of those people that follow directions in real life okay so that's what i'm doing here and so i did not realize that these are the green beans that you need to cut open i currently do not have a can opener so i'm going to walk to my mother's house to borrow one from her so yeah so now that the water is boiling i'm going to add some oil and some salt which i wish i would have added more oil to the water but i didn't but you want to make sure that you salt your water because that's really the only time that the noodles is going to soak up like seasoning for real for real so if you don't salt your water you're going to have bland macaroni regardless if it's boxed or if it's not so yeah after that i put two boxes and um of noodles into the water one box is original and the other box is for cheese i just like to mix them why i don't know i don't know i just do that then i took a pot in the back and i'm going to put green beans in there i put three cans of green beans back there yeah i really was cooking like i was feeding the whole like my mama whole side of the family like i don't know but when i cook and when i fix plates i just overdo it we we'll never know why but yeah then i got these two pans which one is for brownies and one is for um oh yeah the macaroni and cheese okay so while the noodles and stuff boil i think i'm gonna go ahead and work on the brownies but I'll, i'm gonna just mix it in the pan but one egg We need one fourth cup of water. So get my little measuring thingies. One fourth cup. And then one fourth cup vegetable oil. And before I add in the package of dry mix, I'ma just kind of mix this together the best that I can. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just mixing everything together. preheating that'll go into there okay and then for the macaroni and cheese because that's almost done boiling i am emptying the cheese packs into my other 9 by 13 So this came with my pot set, so this is what I'm going to use to drain the noodles and then put them into the cheese. And so I'm going to use the pot that I made um, my mac the noodles in. We got the green beans back here, just, you know, warming, doing their thing. So now we're going to work on rice. Like I said, the rice was going back into that pot. So 
I need to make around, I'm gonna make around six servings of rice. No, I'm starting. I'm gonna make 12, so. So I'm gonna need three cups of rice. Here we go. So three cups of rice. I'm gonna need six cups of water. Um, the eye. So in goes the water. Then add the rice. And then just mix it together. And then we're just going to let that come to a boil. Okay, so now back to the mac. Oh shit. And I'm just going to mix it with the cheese sauce that it came with just to start. And so I know what my mom makes mac and cheese. She puts the egg in there. Why? I don't know, but I'm gonna do that too. And then I'm gonna mix that around. And then also I'm gonna add some milk. Just to really help it creamy. And also some cheese. Okay. Sounds like the rice is starting to boil. Let's check on the rice. So I'm just gonna stir it just to give it a quick stir. It's still quite not boiling yet. Stir the green beans. But I can definitely hear that it's about to start boiling. Okay, so I'm going to just keep stirring because I'm basically trying to make a cheese sauce. That's what I'm doing in my head. Because this is my first time making macaroni and cheese like this without asking my mama what to do. <laughs> just making sure that there's enough cheese in there. I'm probably going to add just the teeniest bit more cheese. Well, not teeniest bit. But I'm going to save some more back for the top. So once I get this cheese mixed in, I'm gonna cover the top with more cheese. Oh, I also gotta add my seasoning. Thanks for reminding me. And so I'm gonna keep the seasoning pretty simple just because you know, I just moved in here. I don't have too much. And on top of that, it's macaroni and cheese. You know, you really don't have to do too much. Hello? much of the other stuff like I said is macaroni and cheese the main seasoning I'm looking for in here is my little the blend seasoning just because it has like the salt pepper all of that good stuff in there so yeah so I'm gonna mix that in good to my liking now and my rice is just about to boil so I'm just going to take cheese and literally cover the entire top And cheese brownie ready to go into the oven our rice is now boiling I'm gonna give it one more stir I'm also going to season my rice and I'm going to use the blend 
Because again, this has all my seasonings in it that I need. And then I also like to add vegetable seasoning to my rice. And then I'm going to stir that together. And then also just because it's rice, you always need extra black pepper in your rice. Or at least my grandma loves extra. So I'm going to get that all mixed together. Turn it down to about a four and put the top on. And then this is going to cook for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, and so now I'm about to put the mac and cheese in. Uncovered. Hmm. Brownie. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna let both bake for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so last minute I decided, you know what, I'ma just go ahead and make the biscuits because it's eight biscuits. So I'm gonna add these into the oven as well. And then let all of that bake and do its thing. Okay, so now that basically everything is just cooking and I'm waiting for everything to get done, I'm going to clean up a little bit. Some things I did off camera, I made a roux for my stew beef and gravy. I mean, it's for my stew beef, yeah, whatever. So that it could thicken up to be like a stew beef with the gravy. Rice just got done cooking, so now I'm waiting for everything in the oven to get done. Green beans are already done. So once everything gets done, I'm going to fix the plate. So you guys can see it on the plate. I'm going to take my grandparents some and then ask my mom and them if they want to come over here and eat or they want me to bring it over there to them. And then we're going to get ready to eat. You feel me? So Sunday dinner almost done and it's about, it's 1130. So I can have a whole meal cooked for 12 p.m. Who am I? Am I your grandma? Who does that anymore? You know, you feel me? Niggas missing out because what girl you know cooking you Sunday dinner before 12 p.m.? yeah so now but yeah i'll come back once i'm finished like doing everything hello hey y'all want to eat over here or you want me to bring it over there we're going to the new house i'm just asking because grandma done talking my um that they just want me to bring down the food uh, she just want to stay in the house today yeah that's what she said she said she in the bed mm -hmm. oh. ain't ready right now, is it? well it'll be ready in the next like 15 minutes oh what are you doing i just ate breakfast I'm too cool. No, this is the old, the back in the day Sunday dinner. Plus, because Bree said that she ain't going to be here on time. She's going to be here afterwards anyway. So, I was like, well, I'm about to just go ahead because I want to eat. Um, well, I'll just eat later. So, I guess it won't be us eating together. I didn't know you were doing it that early. I wasn't even cook no pancakes and bacon and nothing. I ain't eating turkey sausage. Oh, well, I'm about to say that. That's why I just said. I'll probably just fix them. Um, fix them something. You can just eat a little bit and we still can eat together later. Okay. Or just when Brie come with y'all, just go over there and we just sit at the table and eat. You could just be talking. Mm -hmm. Alright. Because you got a microwave now. Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. Well, I got done cooking too fast for them, but I'll be back once everything is done. Alright, so this is the finished product, guys. And the biscuit is look like that because I don't have butter. I had to use like vegetable oil, so I hope it doesn't mess with the taste. And I put the brownies in the refrigerator to cool down, but I'm about to take my grandparents these plates. So this is their plates. So that's Sunday dinner. Yay.